Okay, today we're gonna do sweet pickle relish. Now, we should peel your cucumbers first. So I'm gonna cut the ends like this, get that out of the way, and then you cut it right down the center, lengthwise. So I'm just gonna get most of the seeds right out of there. See the seeds right in there? Can you see that? And you're just gonna scrape that part out. And then put it in our little bowl there. Do the same thing with the other half. And bam! Most of the seed are out. Okay, I have this jar of relish that's in my refrigerator. And I just wanted to kind of show you the, uh, you know, about what our cucumbers should be chopped up like. I think I'm going to do mine with a food processor. It's a smaller food processor, but I think it'll do just fine. It may take me a little bit more time than, uh, you know, a bigger one. But uh, I think we're just going to go and do the food processor. And my food processor, you can see the little grate things in there. I am going to try it on that. I think that will be wonderful. Okay, next, I've got some bell peppers. And again, I'm going to run these through the food processor, but I want to cut them a little bit so it's easier to put them into the food processor. Now, the recipe calls for um, red peppers and green peppers, and it's uh, four cups total. A little bit of yellow in there, too, to give it a little bit more color. But Okay, so now I need a half a cup of onion. Okay, now I'm going to add the onion to the bell pepper and cucumber mixture. And what we're going to do after this is we're going to put the canning or pickling salt, however you want to call it. For this recipe, it calls for a half a cup. And we're going to take that and we're going to put that in there. What we're going to do is mix that together real good. Once we get this mixed together, we're going to leave this in a cool place for two hours. It doesn't have to be in the refrigerator, it could be out on the cabinet as long as it's in a cooler place. Like, so we're going to put like a little paper towel or something over the top of it. And uh, we're going to set it on the counter and let it sit for two hours. And we'll be back. I almost forgot one very important. Cover this with water. cover it with water and now we can let it sit for two hours. Okay, after two hours, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the mixture into a colander. Make sure you get it all out. What we're going to do now is rinse and squeeze the mixture to get all that salt out. And what I do Sorry for all the noise. Is I get a little bit in my hand like this, and then I rinse and squeeze a little bit at a time. Rinse and squeeze so we can get all the extra juice out of there. Squeeze as well as I can. Put it in my bowl. See how nice and colorful that looks. I love it. Okay, now we're going to put our mixture into the pot on the stove. I've got this on medium high heat. A little too warm. Get all that out of there. And then we're going to add two and a half cups of regular sugar, granulated sugar. Three cups of vinegar. Sorry about that. I had to do this wash on. It's not too quiet. Okay. So I'm going to stir, oh my god, it smells good already. 
gonna stir all this together. All right. Then I'm gonna add. Tablespoons of mustard seed. And three tablespoons of celery seed. Some of the recipes call to put celery, chop up celery and put in here. I'm not a big, big celery fan. Um, so, celery seed it is. So what we'll do now is just mix all this together. And then we're just going to turn the heat up a little bit to bring this up to a boil. And then we're going to let it simmer for a little bit. Okay, it's starting to bubble a little bit. And what I did was I just turned the heat down to uh, like a medium low. And I'm going to let it slow cook for a while. So Okay, I'm all done with the sweet pickle relish. I ended up simmering it for about two hours. And then I went ahead and I canned it just like I did in my chow chow video. I'll put the links below for that if you missed that. It looks similar to chow chow, but it's not quite the same. And I'll show you a comparison in a minute. Um, the recipe said that you could add uh, green food coloring to make it, you know, look like it's that store-bought kind. Um, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put anything, you know, artificial in there. I wanted to leave it natural. Uh, so right now I'm going to show you the comparison of it and the chow chow. Chow chow has, you know, the cabbage and everything like that in it, so it's, it's quite different. And there it is. That's how you make sweet pickle relish.